Now, from KFDX3, Texoma's Weather Authority, with Chris Boone. Welcome back, Texoma. Still looking at that increased cloud coverage to start off our morning. Those clouds could continue to break up for the morning time frame, so that's going to really clear out as we get closer towards the afternoon. But then the afternoon heating takes over, and we'll start to see more of those clouds developing in towards the late afternoon, early evening hours. That's when we'll see that second round of some showers and thunderstorms, a little bit more scattered in nature for us as we go through the afternoon hours. Uh, rain chance is diminishing here over the next few hours. Uh, there's her. Hurricane Barrel back in towards the southeastern parts of Texas, kind of moving into the Houston area. For us here in Texoma, we're not expecting any direct impacts from Barrel, but we could see some indirect impacts. See these showers kind of building up along the Dallas-Fort Worth area. That's kind of the atmosphere getting squeezed before between that cold front off towards the northwest and again the hurricane further towards the southeast. So uh, that's where we'll start to see our thunderstorm development as we go in towards the later afternoon hours. So right now, just looking at some of those lingering showers in towards the far northwestern parts of Texoma in towards Altus and Childress area. Uh, those rain chances could continue over the next couple of hours. That'll persist at least in towards the late morning time frame. Again, in towards areas like Quanah, Vernon might be seeing some of those showers and thunderstorms pers persisting uh, with the cloud coverage kind of breaking up for everyone else in Texoma. As we get in towards the afternoon hours, we start to see a little bit more of those showers developing in towards the late afternoon, early evening hours. Again, we see that band of showers showers and thunderstorms redeveloping over Texoma, but we'll see more of those showers and thunderstorms developing. And then as we go in towards the evening and overnight hours, and then the rain chances really start to drop off. And we'll look at partly cloudy skies as we go in towards your Tuesday. Still again, a chance for one or two stray showers, but the rain chances really diminish as we go through the rest of the week after today. Temperatures starting off into the upper 60s and low 70s, 69 degrees in Bowie, 71 for Eureka, as well as here in Wichita Falls, Vernon, and Jacksboro also sitting at 71 degrees. Today might not be the best day for the pool, uh, but if you are planning on it, temperature is going to be a bit on the cooler side into the 80s with that increased cloud cover, especially for the afternoon hours as more of those clouds redevelop and leading to those rain chances for much of the area. So again, 60% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures staying on the cooler side into the mid 80s. And then for tonight, we'll see those rain chances start to decrease as you go through the overnight hours. Temperatures cool back down into those upper 60s and low 70s across the area. Those northeasterly winds, five to 10 miles per hour. That's gonna help temp keep temperatures a bit on the cooler side as well. But it won't last that long because again, as we get in towards the second half of the week, those temperatures are gonna jump from those mid to upper 80s into the upper 90s. We'll get mostly clear skies to finish up the work week and then back into those triple digits. A return to 100 degree temperatures as you go in towards the weekend.